Hey, hello guys, this is Shuo Brother and welcome back to my channel, Circuitition. Today, we are diving into the world of data visualization. Have you ever wondered that how to convert your raw data which is coming from Arduino or any other microcontroller into eye-catching graphs? Well, stick around, we have got you covered. So don't skip the video, watch till the end, let's get started. Hey, hello guys, this is Priya Broto and welcome to our channel Circuitician. So in today's video, we are going to look at how you can plot live data coming from Arduino or any other microcontroller which have serial port or UART port using Python. So we are going to process some data, some sensor data using Arduino or any other microcontroller and send it through the serial communication port to our PC and plot that data using Python. So let's look at the block diagram first. So first, we have a sensor. And then we have our microcontroller. We are taking the reading from the sensor to our microcontroller and processing it here and then we are sending it to our PC or laptop using serial port or UART port. You may know that every microcontroller ESP8266 or Arduino have a USB to TTL converter uh, which helps the serial data to convert into the USB data so that our PC can read that data. And we are going to read that data using Python. Using Python. So as you can see, here is the code. So I will explain the code now. The code is very simple. First, we are importing three libraries. The first library is the import serial, which will take the reading from the serial port, uh, means the data coming from the Arduino serial port that will read by this serial library. That's why we are importing this. Then we are taking the matplotlib library to plotting our data. And then we are taking the DQ module from collection library, which will help us to uh, limit our data within a certain data point. And after that, we are starting our program. First, we are declaring here the COM port to which our Arduino is connected. In my case, this is COM4. In your case, this will be different. And this is the uh, baud rate. Uh, means the speed in which we are communicating with the Arduino, which is 9600. Then we are taking DQ max length 100. What it means is we are creating a list of 100 data. So we are creating a list of 100 data. 0 to 99 means 100 data and when this 100 data fills then when the 101 data comes in the first data will be deleted so in that way we will be only plotting the 100 data in real time because we cannot plot all the data because that will need a huge memory. So we only plot the uh, 100 data at a time. So then 102 data comes and then this data will pop out. In that way, we will plot the 100 data 
points or 100 sensor values at a time. Now we are creating our plot. So at first we are writing plt.ion which will turn on the interactive mode. Uh, I will show you what uh, it means to turn on the interactive mode when I will run the program. Then we are naming our plot live data from Arduino. Then we are setting our X level which is time in the X axis. In the X axis there will be time. In the Y axis there will be sensor value. So, in the X level, set X level, we are plotting the time and set Y level, we are plotting the sensor reading. And after that, uh, this is AX dot grid equals to 2. Uh, the graph will be like grid like, like this. And within this, the graph, our data will be plotted like this and ax dot legend means the color of the color of our plot that will be in the upper left corner the legend which we call generally as legend then we are setting our access limits axis limit the X limit is 0 to 100. It means that X limit starting from 0 and ending at 100 because we are plotting 100 data at a time. That's why we are taking 0 to 100 at, as X limits. And Y limit, we are taking the Y limit is minus 100 to plus 100 minus 100 to plus 100 so after running the program our plot should look like this then we are starting the while true loop which is the main loop where data from Arduino will be captured and plotted in this uh, graph. So sensor.value is the variable where we are going to store the data coming from the Arduino. The data we are getting from the Arduino, we are converting it in, into the float. Then the data variable which we declared before, we are appending to that data the first variable. So this is the so this is the data at first it is empty it can hold up to 100 as I have told earlier. So data dot append means here comes the first data let's say this is 512 then append in the next uh, loop iteration of the loop it is 10 then it is 20 this is appending means we are adding the data in the next cell next cell and next cell this is appending so that is what is happening here data dot append whatever comes from the arduino we are adding to the cell so data dot append but whenever it reaches 101 101 data the first data will be deleted like this. So then we are drawing the plot plt.draw which will help us to draw the plot and then we are uh, giving a delay of 100 millisecond plt.plot 0.1 second mean 100 millisecond. So this is the entire code. Now let's understand the Arduino code for this.
So in the Arduino code, which I have already uploaded to my Arduino Uno, is we are generating a pulse, not pulse, we are generating a signal uh, like this. Starting from minus 50 and going to plus 50. So as you can see here, it's a for loop starting from minus 50 and going to plus 50. So like this and after that it will come to minus 50 again. And this will continue. So this code is already uploaded uploaded to the Arduino. Now I will plug in the Arduino and see how the code acts. So I have connected the Arduino Uno. And now I have to run this Python code. Let's run this. So as you can see, live data from Arduino is plotting. Now it is coming back to minus 50. And then again going back to plus 50. And the interactive mode I am I was talking about is this. You can save the plot from here. You can move the axis like this. This is the interactive mode I was talking about. And you can zoom in if you want. And you can go back to home. So, and this is the legend um, sensor data. The blue line is our sensor data. So, this is the legend. And you can see the x axis is 0 to 100. And the y axis is minus 100 to plus 100. This is the sensor reading. And this is the time. Oh, this is our plot. All the code will be given in the description you can find it there and change it according to your need or your application and if you have any doubts please put it in the comments we will answer that so that's all for uh, this video hope you like it thank you So I hope guys you like this video, if so then make sure you hit the like button and if you are new to this channel or seeing me for the first time then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and if you want to help us you can buy me a coffee link is given in the description and as well as share this video with your friends and technical community and the most important thing be creative.